Ladies, this episode, we want to talk about the over-sexualization of our community. How you ladies have over-sexualized yourselves and made it unnecessary for men to get into relationships with you or to marry. Because sex has become so easily available, so uh, out in the open for any man to choose from. And I understand that uh, you guys like to feel sexy and look sexy, but when you sexualize yourself, men are gonna sexualize you. That's what's gonna happen. That's what we do as men. We're out here even dealing with women for sex. So if you over-sexualize yourself or sexualize yourself, that's the only way we can look at you. There's no need to have a relationship with you, to marry you. You can't represent my family name. You can't be the mother of my children because you're, you're a sex object. You made yourself a sex object. The way you dress, the way you crave attention, Loud, shaking your ass, twerking in the club. You call it dancing. We look at it as your sex moves because that's all you're doing, grinding your ass. That's not dancing. Your feet ain't even moving. So how's that dancing? Just twerking your ass. And this is so common. It's not like uh, this is something... You see unusually. It used to be you would see a few girls out there where you could see they fucking pussy and they and they titty all the way up to their nipples. You walk out nowadays and the majority of the women, you can see everything just from how they dress. Y'all coming out with no panties on and a skirt so short that if you just try to bend over to pick up something, we're going to see your whole pussy. And that's cute to you because it gets you attention. But it's not getting y'all the type of attention that you guys really want. Don't nobody have to get in a relationship with you to get sex from you. Just think about it. If a guy can just get you to talk to him, if he can just get your uh, IG or your phone number, he, gonna, he almost guarantees some pussy from you. Almost guaranteed. He has to, he has, he don't have to date you most of the time. Most of the time, you, you guys ain't going out on dates. And if you go out on a date, you guaranteed to give up the pussy. Most of y'all. If 10 guys take you out, you're going to sleep with seven or eight of them. That's how much you have over sexualized yourself and devalued your, your most precious item, your vagina. Vagina has no value now. Bitches selling pussy for $20, $30, $40. There's no value to it. And then a girl who may want a relationship and a family is out here dressing just like the women who selling that pussy for $20, $30. Same thing. And you could be like, oh, no, mine ain't that cheap. How much do you think it costs to Netflix and chill with you? How much you think we burning in gas, picking you up, bringing you back to our place or to a hotel room? Come on. Your shit ain't as expensive as you think it is because you guys are saturated to market with sex. So guys who could always get sex, this is like heaven. This is like heaven to us. The guys who couldn't get sex, they leaving. One third of the men are now leaving the country to find their wives and their, and, their, and their mates and the people they want to represent them and their family and their children, who, who they want to be the mother of their children. Now, a lot of y'all is like, well, y'all done had kids, but y'all not representing those kids, right? If 80 to 85% of the kids are in single mother homes and you ladies in your 30s with teenage daughters you dressing like a hoe when you go out 
And your daughter dressing like a hoe when she go to school. Y'all got girls in junior high school, barely teenagers, wearing weave, makeup, lashes, nails, wigs, little kids being sexualized before they're even adults because this is what they see their mama doing for attention. For attention. But is that the right attention? Is that how it's going to end up? Because nobody's mad at you for this. Nobody is mad at you for coming outside and showing your pussy. I guarantee you that. Ain't nobody mad at you. Maybe another woman because y'all compete against each other for attention. The only person going to be mad at you is another woman. It ain't going to be me or no other man. Because believe it or not, we know that it's easy to get. We know that if you come out looking like that, we don't have to do nothing but get a conversation with you and we're going to get that. Then once we get it, you're no good to us anymore because you can't represent us in a relationship for what? You can't be the mother of my children. So men with means, the men that you guys want, would never take you serious. You're going to get attention. But it ain't the type of attention that you want. It's not. The most valuable thing that a woman has, you guys give it up like it ain't nothing. For nothing. It's cheap. It's like dirt. Everywhere you go, it's there. Everywhere you go. Inside, outside, anywhere you go, it's there. That's why men are leaving the country. And the men leaving are men who can support families, who want families, but can't be represented by you. Now, it's a big problem because... You guys crave attention so much that you're like, well, if I don't dress like a hoe, how can I compete with these hoes? Compete for what? To get fucked? That's what y'all are here competing for. Who can get fucked the most? Then sit around in your 40s and 50s by yourself talking about how bad niggas done treated you. Every man you done got with done cheated on you. Why? Because all of y'all want men that other women want. That's what you want. You want a man that another woman wants. Because you're competing with her. Competing for attention. Competing for, uh, I don't know, likes. The internet is full. I mean, it ain't a day you can't go on, on the internet and see some bitch bent over shaking her ass. With a short ass skirt on, you can see her fucking pussy. And most of y'all don't wear panties when y'all wearing that shit. If you do, we see in the outline. Y'all wearing a top, we see in your nipples. We can see the color around your nipples. We can see the, the, the tone change around your nipples. There's nothing left to the imagination. Nothing. Over sexualizing yourselves. It's putting you ladies in a bad position. It ain't hurting men. I'm going to tell you that right now. Ain't none of that shit hurting no men. It's helping men. The 20% the of guys that y'all fucking with, that all of y'all got babies by, it's helping them. Your sexualization is helping them. It's helping them weed through the girls who going to make them wait three days. Because most of y'all fucking on the first date. Ain't no three days. It's so easy nowadays from women because y'all control sex. So no man can get it unless you give it to him. But it's so easy. A guy ain't even got to meet you. When he meets you in person for the first time, he can fuck you. On the internet, we can talk for two or three days. By the weekend when we go out on a date, we fucking. That's what we doing. You have no dignity no honor as being a woman. There's no honor in none of y'all being women. 
Y'all feel like that's a lack of attention. That that's something bad to be a lady. So the majority of women are out here being hoes. Getting ran through. Getting used. Come dumpsters. And we ain't mad at you. I do these videos to try to help you ladies change your ways. Maybe see the thing. Because if you guys were so happy, one third of y'all wouldn't be on psycho psychotropic drugs for some kind of anxiety or depression. Y'all wouldn't be rating life as unhappy. There's more unhappy women now than ever in history. So it's not working out for you. But maybe you don't see no way out of that. See, there are a lot of men out here, good men with good money that want families. That are proud of their bloodline and their family name. That want to carry that on. They can't do it with no hoe. They can't. You can't represent a good man's family name as a hoe. He can't take you to meet his mama. Your titties and ass hanging out. How you going to do that? Even when you think, well, I can dress properly to go meet his mama. Your hoist, your hoist uh, tendencies is going to come out. They going to come out. You go meet his mama. Y'all start drinking some music. Come on, your ass on the floor twerking, showing your panties. Come on, now. Nah. You're only hurting yourselves, ladies. And for the ladies out there, the, the two out of ten that want a family, that want to carry on their they bloodline, that want something that's honorable, something with dignity, you got to get away from these hoes. You can't dress like these hoes. But we're going to talk about that in the solution video. Right now, we're going to talk about the problem. And the problem, ladies, is for you. It ain't for men. Let me tell you that right now. Ain't no man mad about it. Ain't no man mad because we can go anywhere. We can walk out the door, go to the store. We're going to see somebody's ass. We're going to see somebody's titties. To the gas station. Oh, a bitch going to pull up with that ass and them titties out. To the club. It's bitches down there getting fucked on the floor. They ain't got no panties on. Niggas up behind them. Grinding on them like they fucking. Because they ain't dancing. You, we not mad about this. This video is to try to help you ladies. See this problem. Because I don't think you see it as a problem. You see it as normal. You letting your 13, 14, 15 year old daughter. Walk out the house. With a wig on. Weave. Makeup. Lashes. Nails. Like she's a grown ass woman. You sexualizing a, a kid and then wondering how they end up fucked up in the end. A lot of y'all out here like, well, we I want to get fucked. I don't need no man. I just need a man for dick. You don't even need a man for dick. Go get you a deal though. But we all know life is better when you're with somebody you can love and respect. How can you respect what you guys are doing? How can any man respect it? No man's mad about it. A lot of us like it. A lot of us love hoe. Trust me, that's not a problem. But you ladies are the ones ending up alone. When no man wants you, when your beauty's gone, when your sex appeal ain't there no more. And a lot of y'all are good looking ladies, you just old. You just old. And men don't like old women. They don't. So the man you want, you will never get. With this kind of over-sexualization. You, you might get to fuck him. You might be able to say, oh, I fucked this millionaire once when I was 23, 24. But now you're 33, 34. You can't come close to that dude. You can't even clean his house as a maid. You can't even be the fucking maid. You still cute. You're not ugly. But there's somebody younger and prettier. Less trauma. 
less baggage, less drama to have to deal with. So you ladies can continue to do what you want to do. Waste your years. Think you got all the time in the world when you don't. You have an infinite amount of time to find a man and secure him. And your problem ain't never been finding a man. Most of y'all will never have a, even an ugly, fat, out of shape chick can get a guy to talk to her. You ladies' problems is you can't secure the man. You can't keep him. You don't think that's your duty. You think the man's supposed to keep you. That's why a lot of y'all end up with weak men that you don't even respect and don't want to be with. That you cheat on. Women cheat more now than men cheat. Yes. That's the, the newest stats came out. Women cheat more than men. So y'all can't say, well, niggas ain't shit, they all cheat. You only fucking 20% of the men. Less than 25% of the men in the black community is responsible for 100% of the babies. Yeah. That means 75, three out of four of those men don't, is out here, ain't got no kids. They out here in the middle class, making money. And guess what they doing? Getting their passports and leaving. Because if they only want sex, they ain't got to go nowhere. Brothers ain't got to leave the country for sex. Sex in the United States of America is like dirt. It's everywhere. It's cheap. It don't cost nothing but a little time and a little lies. And that's what's wrong. People have been lying to y'all your whole lives. And now y'all starting to believe this shit. You believe that coming out half naked is good. Because you've been lied to. Because it's going to get your attention. Girl, you want them niggas after you? Come out with your short ass skirt and no panties on and your, and your see-through fucking top with some, something on your nipples. That's not appealing to a man that wants a family. That's appealing to a man that wants to fuck. Think about that. And then you single mothers letting your daughters get into that shit when they young, what is that going to lead to? Them getting dumped in, used for sex. Because that's what it is. Y'all getting used. If you had any value on your pussy, you have a relationship when you fuck anybody. Think about that. How many niggas you don't fuck and you ain't never seen them again? And I don't mean... They left the next day. You might have fucked him for two, three months. But now that nigga was somebody else. He was somebody else. And you don't care. But you should because you gave up your fucking pussy. You should. Not everybody's supposed to get your pussy. Believe it or not. But the way y'all give it out, it's like heaven to some guys. It's like heaven. And other guys ain't even going to deal with it. So it's even, it's unnecessary to get in a relationship with any of you. If you, ladies, if you want a relationship, that's something you have to work for. Your pussy ain't going to get your relationship. It's not. But we'll get to solutions on another video. Now I need everybody now to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment on the video. Because I'm doing this for y'all. This ain't no bash. This ain't no putting y'all down. I'm glad y'all out here doing this. But I know some of y'all don't want to be in the situations y'all in. Or y'all wouldn't be taking so much medication. Y'all wouldn't be thinking about self-deletion. You wouldn't be tired because life is so fucking hard. Because when you got a good man, a whole lot of pressure going to come up off you whole lot of pressure come up off. But when you got a guy that's a good fuck, that's temporary. That's 5, 10, 15 minutes of pleasure. That's it. See you later. Till next time. And you can waste your years doing that. In your later years, you won't even have that. See, 
people lie to you so much. The, the older women in our community won't tell these younger women. They try to fake it like they happy alone. Them bitches is 40 or 50 years old. They can't get a man. So they have no choice but to say, I'm happy alone with my cat or my dog. They have no choice. Because no man wants them. They lying to you ladies, telling you that there's a uh, ray of uh, big, bright, sunshine and ball at the end when you're by yourself and you're older. And you can't get the attention because now nobody wants your ass. These ladies are lying to you. Just like the niggas lie to you to get your pussy. You thought that was going to work out. Oh, oh, well, it didn't. But you didn't gave up your pussy. Now, it might not be a big deal to you. But the guy who got her is happy. Bet you that. Even if you say, well, yeah, it was good. And, and now we don't talk to each other. Everybody's satisfied. Nobody's mad about it. I don't told you that. But some ladies want more. Some people want to be more than just a receptacle for cum. They do. Some ladies want more. Didn't have to struggle and make all the decisions themselves. Some ladies want more than to just get fucked on and left. It means something to some people to have a family. It means something to some people to have some dignity. To not be the neighborhood hoe. To not have to work so hard to have nothing to come home to. You could have a big ass empty house. That shit ain't no happiness. Them old bitches is lying to y'all. They lying. Because they can't dress with their titties no more out. They titties hang down to their fucking stomach. They can't dress like they going to get surgery. They going to get surgery to try to tighten their shit up so they can look younger. To compete with you young women. A lot of you mothers in your 30s got daughters that are 18, 17, 18 years old. Y'all competing for the same men. Y'all competing for the same men. And guess who got the advantage? Guess. It ain't the mother. Don't no man give a fuck about your degrees and your job and what you got. You ain't going to give it to him. So why would he care? So he cares about youth and beauty and fertility. That's what men care about. Y'all got brothers in our community that got 7, 8, 15 kids with 7, 8, 15 different women. How does that happen? And a nigga ain't got a job. What the fuck? How motherfucker got double digit kids and no job? These are the type of guys that y'all giving this pussy to. And you think you got some value in your pussy? When you gave it to that? Really? The type of men that you ladies want, responsible men who pay bills, who take care of their families, who take pride and honor in taking care of their families and making sure that their kids grow up and become productive citizens. Y'all losing them by over-sexualizing them. The sex is so easy to get. That a man can't even trust being with you. Because he know how easy he got it. I don't understand what makes what y'all think is so valuable about that. No pussy is going to make a man fall in love with you. It's just not. Men don't fall in love with sex. It's not an emotional event for us. For you it is. For us it's not. You're over-sexualizing yourselves, making sex too easily available. And don't get me wrong, I don't want you to stop. But for a lady that wants a family, I'll give you the solution in the solution video. Because you're definitely not going to get it like this. You, gonna, you can have kids. That ain't no family. You and your kids is not a family. If you ain't got a man there taking care of you and your kids, then you ain't got no family. There's definitely a man in the house at a family. Families have men. Families of women have nothing. Nothing. Families have men. 
leaders, providers, protectors. And for women who want that, sexualizing yourself, it will never get it. It will never get it. You'll just be wanted for sex. That's what, that's what it's about. We hunt for sex. Once we get to sex as men, it's your job, ladies, to keep us. We have no reason to stay once we get to sex. Once we bust our nut, it's over. Don't, we don't want to lay and cuddle. We want to leave. Go to the next sexualized woman out here. Because all of y'all got pussies. Just stand there on all of y'all. That's why an average woman can get more attention than one of the best looking guys in the world. Statistics show it. Just from the dating apps. An average looking woman gets more attention than a top tier guy. And when you sexualize yourself, you're going to get even more attention. And I told you, ladies, that's your kryptonite. Craving attention ain't always a good thing. But it depends on what you want. It depends on what you want. If you want to get fucked through your 20s and 30s, maybe up until your 40s, then get left alone, that's up to you. You ain't going to never have nothing solid. You ain't going to never have no long-term relationship. You're just going to be sex. Like a sex doll. Just to different dudes. You just going to different dudes. At least a sex dog got one motherfucker they fucking with. You getting fucked by everybody. And think you're doing something for it. Oh, this guy bought me this. Really? That was worth your pussy? Really? That's what little you think of yourself as a human being? As a woman? See, it's hard to be a lady nowadays. Used to be women would compete over who was the most feminine. Now y'all competing over who could show the most fucking body. Who got the best see-through outfit? How much ass and titties can you show before they lock you up? That's basically where y'all at. Before a motherfucker tell you, oh, no, you can't come in here with that. Because it, I can't tell you how many bitches I don't even know and I don't see their titties and their pussy. And so has every man that, that, that walks the streets. Every man that's been out in the world. Here in the United States. Not the world, but in the United States. Because in other countries, that shit don't go. You dress like a hoe, they're going to treat you like a hoe. Like here. You dress like a hoe, you get treated like a hoe. Nobody's treating you like a lady when you dress up like that. When you over-sexualize yourself. When you talk the way you're talking. Who can treat you like a lady? You ain't no fucking lady, you a hoe. For the two out of ten that want to do better, the solution video is going to, going to handle that for you. For the other eight, keep it going. Keep it going. We, we ain't mad at you. Nobody's mad at you. We love hoes. For you other ladies, you don't want to end up like that. Because we already know what's going to happen to these. These eight out of ten women who've been sexualized for the, their entire life from the time they little girls. Wearing wigs and weaves and shit in junior high school. What kind of shit is that? In elementary school with makeup on. What kind of responsible mother is that? You going out looking like a hoe and your kids see that and you think they ain't going to go out looking like... You don't, you don't think you're making criminals and, and single mothers too? It's a bad cycle, ladies. Sexualizing yourself is not a good thing for you. Good thing for men. But in the end, in the, after wasting all those years with all that attention and not having nothing to show for when you're older, you're going to die alone. Don't die alone, ladies.